A number of folks on my YouTube channel have asked about how to add a company logo to your Adobe Captivate 12 project. And I thought I'd make a quick, short video that explains how I would approach this. And if you guys decide that you like the way I'm doing it, you can use the same method yourself here. So in this case here, I'm starting off with a blank project. You can add this to an existing project. It doesn't matter. It's very simple to do. I'm going to start by clicking on add media blocks and selecting image. Now, at first glance, this seems very inappropriate for adding a logo. Sure, I can pop a logo into here, but First of all, I want you to consider the design options, and I want you to start doing this for every single time that you add any type of block, whether it be a text block or an image block, consider that there are alternative design options. The first option, you don't have to use this every single time. So in this case here, I'm gonna actually go over to the second page of design options, and there's two that I'm thinking about. There's this one here, the single image design option one and introduction slide single image option three. They are different at first glance from one another, but they're actually more the same than you realize here. Let's start off with this one here, the single image design option one. And if we choose that, what happens is that this layout is kind of designed, I think, for an introduction slide. It's got the uh, auto fit height turned on, so it's gonna fill your first slide. I'm gonna turn that off in this case. You can see it shrinks right down there. I also don't need all these components. Basically, in this particular row, I'm gonna have the course title and the company logo. So let's turn off, let's say, subtitle and card here. And you could slightly change this if you wish. The one thing I'm gonna recommend is that both the image should be centered and the caption should be centered as well. And that's mostly for when you're looking at other layouts, especially when it wraps over to another row, you'd want the title to be centered as well. Let's just add a fake title in here. Customer service. Now I think that I want this to be a smaller font and I think that's gonna look better on the different responsive design layouts here. So I'm gonna choose 36 in all cases there. That looks pretty good. Now, literally adding a, your logo is as simple as dragging the logo over and replacing that default image that you see there. Now, obviously this isn't appropriate, but let's go in to edit the image and make some choices that are gonna make a lot more sense. You might think that a fixed height might solve that problem, and it kind of does, at least in this layout here, but I think it's gonna to be too large for things like mobile view here. So let's stick with scaled, it will scale down, but choose fit as your image display, and you'll see it shrinks down the logo to fit the space that's there. Pro tip here is to include safety space in the image itself, and that way you can ensure that if your logo requires safety space, in other words, space to prevent it from coming too close to other things like text and so forth in your layout, just build a little extra space as I've done here with this image here. Now, once I hit save, you'll see this is really ideal here. And of course, when we look at it on the different layouts, I think it looks great there. Now, if you're in a situation where the company expects its logo to be on the left side of the page, let's select the entire block again and simply switch it over to this introduction slide single image option three. Now, that's going to reset it back to some of the defaults there. Let's unselect auto fit height. And again, we can resize this down to just what we need and, of course, also do things like adjust that font size for the different views. Certainly if you don't need to have text in the top of every single slide, you could adjust that as well. And don't forget to also make sure that the alignment is appropriate for all of these there. So that looks pretty good. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, Hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs.
visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.